Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I am glad that you're back. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. It really does help out the channel, okay? Um, today, this reading is going to be for my Taurus, okay? You could have Tauruses anywhere in your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, South Node. All that jazz. If you don't know your placements, please check my description box below. Um, there's a free uh, website to get your natal chart done. I'm not affiliated with them. Okay. Yes. Ooh. Okay. So Taurus, I channeled two songs for you. The first song, um, I don't know how to say the artist's name. Okay. But this is what it's spelt like. And this is the name, uh, Where's My Love. Okay. So this is the first song. And it goes, um, Cold. Sheets. Oh, where's my love? I am searching high. I'm searching low in the night. Ooh, does she know that we bleed the same? Ooh, don't want to cry, but I break that way. Did she run away? Did she run away? I don't know. If she ran away, if she ran away, come back home. Just come home. Okay, someone wants you to come back home. All right, it's kind of sad. Um, I feel like this could be somebody who you're in separation with, okay, and they're missing you. Okay, um, or this could be somebody that you have not yet met. I'm going to take that back. This could be somebody that you could have met in the spiritual, but you have not met this person in the physical yet. Okay, um, you guys could be meeting this person soon. Okay, um, and you two bleed the same. You guys are, are alike in a sense is what I'm getting here. Okay. You guys could even share the same soul, even, okay? Yeah, and whoever's involved in this situation, okay, they could be in fear because it goes, I got a fear, oh, in my blood. She was carried up into the clouds. High above, ooh. Oh, if you bled, I bleed the same. Oh, if you're scared, I'm on my way. Okay, so it's like, I don't know, maybe this person's afraid to leave you, or this person's afraid to like lose you, something like that, or someone is afraid of something, okay? Sound like that is significant, okay? Um, I also looked up like why um, why the song was written, okay? This guy was inspired by writing pretty much the whole album because of, um, he said how his wife taught him how to perceive the world in a different way. So maybe you helped this person perceive the world in a different way or you will help this person perceive the world in a different way or this may not even be romantic this could be like a close friend a family member co-worker whatever put it where it needs to go all right also um he wrote this whole album because um he said it was a he says it was inspired by um like the journey that we're all on trying to find our identity and to find out why the fuck we're here okay so i feel like maybe you guys um Maybe you guys could be finding out like why you're here or you're discovering this. Maybe you're having dreams and it's being revealed or you're um, in deep meditation and it's being revealed or you're seeing signs everywhere that's pointing you in a certain direction, okay? That's um, according to your destiny or on, on the path that you need to go, okay? Now the second song, all right? Second song I got from you guys or got for you guys, okay? 
It's called EGOT and it's by Connor Price. That's how it's spelled. Okay, I'm not a rapper, I'm not a singer. Let's not, let's not get carried away here. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna do my best. But the song goes like this. It goes, I got some friends who's talking the trash all behind my back, they saying I suck. They're the same ones who's in my DMs, they showing me love, can't make this stuff up. That's why I'm paying no mind to, ding, to things that they all gotta say when I'm dropping. I don't know anyone who's winning who, who taking the time to leave negative comments. I'm in control. I show, show me the ropes. I know how to steer. I keep it quiet. I don't hear the laughs. I don't hear the hate. I don't hear the cheers. Don't need to smoke. I don't need to drink, but do what you do, whatever you feel. Switching it up. I do what I want. They hear in the beat, but this not a drill. No, this not a drill. Used to hang around with some kids who had no goals. Didn't even want to grow old. We stay still, never showed growth. Feeling like I'm on a stone road with a rowboat had no hope. So nowadays when they see me, they tell me I've changed. I just say, I hope so. Okay, so there could be people in your life, okay, that are like, this could be even people that you're no longer talking to, okay? They could be telling other people like, oh, so-and-so has really changed. Um, Taurus really changed and yada, yada, yada. They could like not like this change. People could want you to revert back to like the person you were before your spiritual awakening or your transformation okay or um before you decided to um release certain people that no longer serve you or um yeah something like that is significant okay these individuals don't like this all right so let's see so taurus while i was meditating on, on your energy okay the signs that were prominent that you may be dealing with is a Gemini, a Cancer, a Pisces, and a Leo, okay? And an Aries, okay? Um, what else? The year 1997 could be significant. That could be a, a year of somebody's birth, okay? 1991 is significant as well. 1987, um, 89, 1976, 1993, 1995, 1982 as well. Um, okay. And something about the year 2019 is significant. Um, maybe something significant happened to you that year, or maybe that's when you stopped being in communication with this individual that you're separated from who might be missing you or something. Okay. Something happened. Maybe that's when you stopped talking to these people or when you started to release, um, these people from your life. Okay. Um, I also got, uh, Somebody could be 34 years old, 41, 21, or 16. If you're 16, you shouldn't be watching this channel, okay? I'm just saying. Or somebody could have a child, a teenage child that's 16, okay? Also, you guys could be seeing the numbers 111, 222, 777, 555-444-888, and 333, okay? Also, I forgot to say, with that song, EGOT by Connor Price, it's also like, um, it's like kind of summing up this whole year for you, Taurus. It's like, you guys, you guys have discovered the people who like don't, who wanted to stay stagnant and don't want to grow. Um, you all, you also have like, um, have experienced a lot of change this year. Okay. A lot of transformations. Okay. While you were in these transformations, you probably weren't liking it. But like now that it's at the end of the year, you're probably like really grateful for it. And if you're not, you need to be. Okay. Um, what else? I also got, um, got in God We Trust. You know how like it's on the back of the dollar bill. So something about that in God We Trust. So it's, it's making me feel like... Um, it's making me feel like whoever you may be meeting who's new that's romantic or this old person that you might be coming back together. I feel like this is a good person. It could even be like a new friend that you're meeting, okay? Or someone who, or a new mentor or something. This person, you and this person both um, trust in God. You guys both have faith in the universe, okay? Um, what else? Something about your fifth chakra, so something about your throat chakra is significant. Um, Maybe it's hard for you to communicate or express something or or maybe this is um, like spirit saying like 
it's time for you to express something, maybe tell your story or um, something like that. Okay. I also got something about covenant transport. Um, I don't know. Let me look that up. Agreement. Covenant means agreement. So there was some sort of agreement. Someone made an agreement on moving something or moving. Something like that is significant. Okay. Um, I also got the word Genesis. So something about the beginning of time or or just like that song. Damn, just like that song, like um, questioning why we're here. What is it all for? Something like that. I don't know. Or somebody's going to re- Start something new, have a new beginning, okay? I also got something about, um, like, placing your freedom above all else. Like, what you really want is freedom, okay? Either to freedom to express yourself or freedom to move where you want to move. Somebody doesn't want to be restricted. Something like that is significant, okay? I also got something about a brewery or the food industry or food company is significant. Maybe this is something that you're trying to start or you work for, something like that. I also got something about um, Royal Oak, okay? I didn't really know what it meant. I looked it up. I guess Royal Oak is like a very expensive um, wood and it takes a long time for it to even like develop to be chopped down or something and used. Um, what I feel like why spirit is showing me this it's like um it's like god wants you to view yourself um like how he views you like he views you as very valuable okay maybe you guys have been feeling like um i don't know not valuable or not valued or not appreciated or something but you are okay you're very much value valued okay i'm also getting like somebody is going to see your value and they could be expressing that to you all right, soon. Or these old people who um, you disconnected from, they could be coming back um, in regret and expressing to you that they see your value now and or something, okay? Someone could be Navajo also. Um, then they, what else? I also got something about the end of the line so something could be finishing. It's at the end of the line, okay? This could be a karmic cycle or this could be a way of thinking or a habit or something. Something is at the end of its line, okay? Or something needs to end. I also got something about an EKG machine. Something about a heart attack is significant. I don't wish this upon anyone, but something about a heart attack is very significant. Um, okay? I also got something about the number 420, okay? It don't have to be about weed, okay? But maybe it is. Maybe you guys sell weed. I don't know. Or you have like a weed dispensary or that's what your dreams are. I don't know. Something like that. Oh, I also... Excuse me. Well, I also got something about um, $50,000. I don't know. Um, but I did look up why 420 is here. And what it says, the angel number 420, it says that um, it is a sign that you're on the right path in your life and that you are making positive changes. Okay. It says it also carries the energies of hard work, determination, and inner wisdom. It's a sign that great things are happening for you and that new opportunities are on their way. Okay. So if you've been seeing that number, that's what this is basically saying. It's also has to do with um, your guardian angels. Okay. You could be very connected with your guardian, your guardian angels at this time. Okay. I also got something about um, imitation grass. You know, like that fake grass. Um, somebody in this situation could have thought like, uh, like the saying, like the grass is greener or something, but it's they're realizing when they went to the other grass, it was fake. It was imitation grass. So maybe, maybe that's why this person is coming back to you. 
to where the real grass is? I don't fucking know. I don't know. Oh, the names. Okay, so the names that I channeled um, were Ramona, uh, Gilbert, Ortiz, which I think is a last name, Ben, Tony, Smith, probably a last name, Tim, and then Hoffman, probably a last name, and Jared, okay? Um, if these aren't your names, don't worry, this reading is probably still for you, okay? What else? Okay, let's get into the cards and see what, what this is. Oh, somebody's name is Benji as well. Benji. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do we need to know when it comes to my Tauruses? Damn. Okay, I just moved the Kipper deck and false person at the bottom of the deck just... I didn't pick it up. It was the one that was on the table. So something about a false person. Maybe you're gonna... There's gonna be another false person that is in your surroundings that is gonna be revealed. Okay, yeah. There could be some sort of communication coming to you. Whatever this communication is, is going to be, um, it's going to lead to some sort of victory or it's going to help you overcome something, some sort of obstacle, right? I feel like whatever this is, it's coming in fast. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, please allow me to be a channel. What do my Tauruses need to know? My Taurus is me too. We got transformation number 13. Okay. So something needs to end or something is ending. Any more? We got authority number four. So there could have been someone who was in a position of power that may be getting stripped of their power. Okay. This is how I'm reading it. I'm also getting there could have been a... I'm getting also, a, there's a divine masculine who's going through a transformation or went through one in the past. And now he is um, stepping into his emperor energy. That's also how I'm reading this. Okay. I feel like there was a lot of fear um, that either this divine masculine was feeling in the past or is feeling now to even come towards you and communicate something about the fifth chakra. Okay. But we have base chakra here, number one. I'm also getting, though, since it is upright, it's making me feel like whoever this person is doesn't have to be your divine masculine, okay, or divine feminine, depending on who's watching. Um, this person could just be um, getting over some sort of fear. And they're going to take some sort of action or movement towards you. I feel like this is someone who was holding back from you. This could be like holding back from an apology, holding back from um, giving you some form of information. Okay, this also could this also could deal with somebody's father. Somebody's father could have um, went to the other side. Okay, yeah, there's some sort of choice that was supposed to be made, or whatever this is. You've been patiently waiting for this. Okay, we have waiting game number two at the bottom of the deck. But I feel like whatever this is that you've been patiently waiting for, you're going to get what you need, okay? Somebody needs to sacrifice something or or someone, I don't know, something like that. Ooh. What do we need to know? Yeah, there was something that was tying someone down from coming towards you or from um this this even could have been you Taurus. okay there could have been something that was holding you back and it took you a long time to let go of okay in the past but you did that okay and this could be you in this authority energy like you're in this emperor energy regardless if you're a female or a male okay tell me more about this
Okay, there's something about a court case that is significant, okay? Whatever whatever court case that you're dealing with, you're going to be receiving some sort of high honor out of this because we have court case and authority here. Okay. Maybe someone was trying to hold you back or hold you down or try to stifle you in some way in your life um, with a court case or with like legal trouble. Okay, whatever that is, it's ending. You're going to be set free. You see how like this um, boat in the air has this anchor and how like the anchor's off the boat and the boat is just flying free? Someone's going to be getting some sort of freedom. Someone's being freed. Someone even could have been released out of jail. I don't know. Tell me more. What is going on? Okay, this could be involving a marriage. Okay. Maybe you guys have um, a kid with this person or there's a third party involved in here. But whoever this person is, they feel spiritually and financially poor, okay, at this time. Or they just feel like disconnected from your energy. You've been waiting to find out who the fuck stole your shit or who's been fucking with you or who's been behind all this gang stalking. I don't know. Whatever it is, that waiting game, I believe, is over. You're going to find out. Yeah, and it's going to lead to some sort of new beginning for you. Genesis, okay? And someone in this situation was is very um, envious and jealous of this new beginning that you're going to be receiving, okay? But whatever this person was trying to do, whatever this deceptive, envious person or people, okay, the cycle has closed on these people. God's saying, hail no. Hail no, we won't go, okay? Is what I'm getting, okay? So somebody could have been wanting you to go away or not want you to be here, some shit, I don't know. But somebody's under judgment or someone literally could be getting, somebody could be going to court and being found guilty or charged with something, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do we need to know for my Tauruses? Yeah, someone got out of prison. Or you got yourself out of prison, okay? Out of some sort of mental jail or whatever this is. Information that's coming towards you. It's gonna, it's gonna um, bring you peace, okay? A peace of mind. Whatever this is, it's gonna be happening spontaneously. We have pop-up. It says spontaneous, unexpected, surpri surprise visit. Okay. Or someone's going to pop on, pop up on you and surprise you, um, confront you. Okay. Because you ended something with them. This could be somebody who's upset. This could be this envious person. This person doesn't like that you're single or doesn't like that you're free or you're no longer under their control. Tell me more. Yeah, this is someone you threw out the trash. You threw the <laughs> threw them out. <laughs> okay. I'm also getting you made it like an executive. You made like an executive decision on this person um, because you realized they was talking trash. Okay. Discarding, throwing out. I'm also getting if someone tried to falsely accuse you or something or put you or try to put you in some sort of legal situation. Um, so that you could get in trouble or locked up, okay? Whatever that, um, I don't know what they call it, case that was put against you is being thrown out, okay? Yeah, we have cleansing. It says meditation, clearing space, removing neg negativity, okay? So maybe this is a sign for you to um, cleanse your home, cleanse yourself, cleanse your vehicle. Tell me more. Can I play with me? Someone? Yeah, someone's looking for you. What was that fucking saying? Somebody's trying to find you. We got searching online, looking for info, records. Someone is trying to fucking find you. It could be your fucking family. We have blood ties, inner circle. They're trying to search for you. 
Why do we got melee cheer though? Spirit, tell me more. Wait, hold on. Wait, yeah. Whoever's looking for you, uh, whoever this person is, they're trying to make things difficult for you. This person could be jealous because they know that you're coming into some sort of union with someone. Okay. We have snake here. Whoever this person or family or group of people are, they don't want the best for you. They really don't. Okay. But I also know, I, I also feel like this snake is going to be exposed or this false person is going to be exposed. For some reason, I feel like it's an older woman. But that's not for everyone. Um, but someone just doesn't like your happiness, okay? Yeah, someone, someone is going to come towards you with some sort of drama or come towards you with some sort of fight. Someone might want to come towards you to fight you in some way, okay? Or someone was, um, if someone wants to fight you, bring some conflict because this, this, this person doesn't like where you're headed. This person wants to stop you from your hopes, your wishes, and your dreams, want to stop you from your success. I'm also getting this person is jealous and envious of your talent, okay? Or, or the fact that you healed, that you're healing, that you chose to heal. This is somebody who, whoever this jealous, envious person is, somebody who refuses to, um, address their own demons. Okay. Yeah, I feel like whoever this person is, um, I feel like you're more mature than this person. Okay. And I'm not talking about age. I'm talking about like, um, mentally, mentally more mature, emotionally more mature than this person. Okay. I'm also getting this person might be coming in. Okay, to uh, start off by saying like, oh, please forgive me or coming in with some sort of apology. But this person really just, um, they want to bring more chaos and drama into your life. Okay, so they might be like, oh, I want to I want to make peace with you. I don't think that's like their true intentions, though, is what I'm getting here. I'm also feeling this could be a baby mama as well or a baby daddy. Whoever this person is, this is someone who is very in and out of your life. Yeah. Very in and out of your life. This could be somebody even in your family. Put it where it needs to go. Or someone you have a family with. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? Wow, someone's going to come in with some sort of truth or some sort of clarity. Um... I just, I made a connection right now. The album that, um, Where's My Love song, okay? That album is called Clean Eyes. So you're gonna, you're gonna, you or the people around you or whoever is important, maybe even people of authority, they're gonna have some sort of clear eyes or a new perspective on your situation or what's going on or whatever. Yeah, Taurus, you're showing up here. I feel like, um, I feel like God is very much working in your life right now, okay? I'm also getting your wisdom and your discernment is fucking on point and you need to trust in it. Tell me more. Trust in the signs, the synchronicities that you're getting because they're like protecting you, okay? Someone doesn't like that you have the whole world in your hands. Someone wants to knock that fucking world out of your fucking palms, okay? They would see that as a victory is what I'm getting here. Tell me more. I'm also getting somebody had made has made a decision on um, committing to you is also what I'm getting. Someone has already admitted this within their head, but they have not communicated this yet is also what I'm getting. Someone feels stuck. Someone doesn't want you to run away or someone doesn't want to or someone... It's trying to get away with something. Tell me more. Or someone's trying to find a way to come in and balance things out with you, okay? But I feel like you've already turned your back and closed the cycle with this individual. I don't know who this is, but let's figure out what this person looks like. 
I feel like there's two there's two people, okay? Or two types of groups of individuals that you're going to be met with a decision with, okay? Um and it's it's you're going to be basically left to your own um intuition, okay? It's almost like giving me like this is like this is a part of a test. Like how teachable are you? Did you learn? Are you going to use what you've learned? Something like that. Spirit, can you tell me more? What does this person look like? Someone in this situation wears acrylic nails or has manicured nails. Okay. Tell me more. Someone in this situation could wear a lot of makeup. Someone in this situation could be bald or have some sort of buzz cut. This keeps happening. This keeps coming out a lot. And this too. Plump lips. Someone could have plump lips. Okay, Taurus. That you're dealing with. Some of you could have Sagittarius or Pisces in your chart as well. We have polished toes or pedicure. I don't know what's going on here. Someone could like toes. I don't know. Someone could be in their 30s. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Someone in this situation could um, like being all natural. All right. And one more. Someone in this situation could have green, blue, or multicolored eyes. All right. And something about the color purple is significant. That could be someone's favorite color or someone likes grapes or something. Or grape flavored things. And also somebody could be a night owl or someone's like staying up late at night trying to find you or trying to get clues on where you're at or how to approach you or something. Research. I don't. Of course. I don't know. Let's get out Bertha. Let's get out Bertha. Okay. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do my Tauruses need to know? What do my Tauruses need to know? Regarding what I have already channeled for them. Someone stole like a lot of things from you. Or not a lot, but like a some a big something that was grand. Okay, it doesn't have to be a vehicle, but we do have Grand Theft Auto out here. Okay. Someone in this situation um, could be gay. Okay, somebody's first, middle, or last name could start with an I. Okay, you guys could be seeing 888. Okay, you're receiving divine guidance at this time. Someone in the situation, something could be on the news, okay? I'm also getting somebody could have lied and said somebody lied about somebody's sexuality. Someone could say somebody was gay, um, but they weren't. Or someone could have lied themselves and said that they were gay, but they weren't gay, okay? Something like that. Something wasn't false or some, something wasn't false. Something was false or something wasn't false. Oh, no, no, no. Something about a Sagittarius is significant. We have impersonating an officer. So someone was pretending to be someone that they weren't. Okay. Anyway. We got 1212. Okay. Some sort of cycle is over. So there was somebody who um, entered your life and pretended like they were someone they weren't. Okay. In order to steal something from you, take from you. This could be anything like this could be stealing ideas from you. Um, stealing just your energy. Um, something. Okay. Or it could have been actual, tangible things. Okay. This person could have Sagittarius in their chart. Whoa. Something about July could be significant. Somebody could, this person could be born in the month of July. Or something like this happened in July. Um, or whatever was stolen from you. It could have happened in July. And you're going to be receiving that ten times fold back to you. Okay. Um. Now, this could have been this July or last July. Okay, Taurus. Only you would know. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What else do they need to know regarding this situation? I'm also, there's going to be an end to some sort of lies that someone's been spreading about you or gossip. We have, I need your voice. So this person misses your voice. Okay. So it's under impersonating officers. So it's also kind of making me feel like there could be someone who's like going under fake accounts. 
okay in order to like um talk to you or something in order to like hear your voice or just get some form of communication from you okay so you may be talking to someone you don't realize you're talking to does that make sense we have shaman i could be speaking to a shaman okay are there some sort of shaman involved in this situation i did say navajo okay look we got arrested something about someone being arrested or someone was lying in order for you to be or get arrested we have shy here someone in this situation is very shy We have raid here. I need your voice in raid. It's like somebody, this you could be dealing with an energy drainer. Like somebody wants to cipher off you. Like they need you. It's like a necessity in order. Like it's giving me like, I need to, I need water or something. I don't know. Spirit, tell me more. Like your energy is like, um, I don't know. We have hiding a death in the family. So you could be finding this out. Whoever this person is, is fickle. This could be a Gemini. We have yes. So if you are having like a question for the divine and wondering if like, some of you could have been already having a hunch that like whoever you could have been talking to online was not who they say they were. Spirit saying, yeah, they, you were right. They weren't who they say they were. Who they said they were. Gosh dang. Tell me more. We have karmic male out here. And it's under hiding a death of the family. We have drama creator. Okay. So for some of you, this karmic male could be your father. Okay. So some of your, maybe your father was hiding the death of like your grandpa or your grandma or something from you. Okay. In order to like keep some sort of inheritance that was passed down to you we have checked the backyard okay something about the backyard is significant or something uh, something could have been placed around your property oh somebody's first middle or last name could start with an l tell me more spirit we have wow the fuckery is real so you're about to find out some like um some real hardcore truth why did I say that weird? <laughs> okay. You're about to you're about to hear some fucking hardcore truth. Hardcore. Why do I keep saying hardcore? Hard cold truth. Tell me more. Tell me more. We got love here. I'm also getting somebody was trying to create some sort of drama. In your life or some sort of chaos okay so that people wouldn't um love you or like you okay but god wants you to know that you are lovable don't you ever fucking forget it okay we got 777 here this is a lucky time for you tell me more somebody's first medal or last name could start with a t okay we have no here and this is like next to gay in fox news shaman i feel like somebody this is under 12 12 so this is making me feel like somebody in this situation or a karmic male this could be a past this could be a past like um karmic male that you were dealing with that wants to reconnect with you you might when they come in you might tell them no because you feel like you've already learned the lessons you needed to learn from this person maybe you could have found out this person was spreading a lot of um false shit about you okay throughout your community or i don't know something something like that maybe you're gonna find out this person is actually gay this karmic male okay you can find out this karmic male slept with like your one of your family members. They could have had gay sex together or something. Tell me more. That is a lot. We have caring person. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. 
someone knows that you're a fucking caring person or people are now seeing that you are a caring person this is next to love tell me more or you're gonna have someone who truly loves you and truly cares about you come in okay damn we have fear okay we have false evidence appearing real so somebody could have been trying to like put you in a state of fear or someone was trying to make other people fear fearful of you okay we have over and over again in my mind so this is someone who can't get over the thought of you okay or the the thought that you are no longer in their life or that you're running away okay we have something about sex with animals is significant okay we have mother knows so somebody's mother knows that someone's having sex with animals or a mother knows about um some sort of grand theft auto okay or about somebody pretending that they're not who they say they are when it comes to you or a mother knows about some sort of poison okay or that you're poisoned or your mother poisoned you i don't know or poisoned other people's minds about you okay we have illegal surveillance okay so somebody in this situation was um surveillancing you without your consent or an unlawful way we have offshore accounts so someone could be getting caught up for some sort of um money that wasn't taxed or something we have any loveless relationship so someone in this situation is in a loveless relationship that girl is poison this could be a third party situation there could be somebody who's still connected with some sort of karmic person and this person could have left you and the, the grass wasn't greener. Like they left you to go into, to enter into something that thought it was going to be golden, but they realized it was, it was fake. Everything about it was fake. It was all just an illusion. Maybe this person's now viewing that person that they left you for as someone who's toxic or poison to them. Like they, that person like killed all the things that they try to grow or all the grass died or something. So now they want to come over to you. Something like that is significant. Someone in the situation could um, have a four to 10 year old child, okay? Or something about four to 10 years ago. And then we have the month of May. This You could be born in the month of May, okay? Or something significant happened in the month of May. Someone in the situation could be, um, you could be finding out that they were doing voodoo on you. This is way too many cards, Spirit. We have smiling in your face, secretly want to take your place. So whoever was doing voodoo on you is someone that you like communicate with, okay? Or did. We have candle magic. Somebody could have been lighting candles on your ass, okay? We have grew up in a family where they don't say I love you. So something like that is significant. We have Gemini Taurus cusp. You guys could be dealing with a, a Gemini Taurus cusp or you are a Gemini Taurus cup. I, cusp. I've been picking that up. I picked that up in Pisces read. Somebody's first, middle, or last name starts with a V. Veronica. Vanessa. Val Vl Vladimir. We have intimidating a witness. Ciao. Something about a DUI is significant. There could be a Gemini Taurus. A Gemini... There could be a Gemini Taurus cusp that is going to get charged with a DUI or recently did. Or someone was trying to claim that you were driving under the influence and you weren't or something. We have someone is gaslighting you. So you could have someone who is trying to act like a caring person, but really they're fickle. And they want to create some sort of drama with you. They could be gaslighting you. With this shy card, I'm also getting you guys could be dealing with some sort of co covert narcissist. It could be a Sag. Don't have to be. Or they could have Sag anywhere in their chart. Someone could be telling other people that you're crazy or telling you like, Oh, I never said that. I never did that. But you, your physical eyes saw what they did and said. Someone's trying to fuck with your mind. Someone's trying to brainwash you. We have using your social security number. So someone in the situation knows that somebody witnessed somebody. There's somebody that witnessed somebody else use your social security number illegally. I think your mom knows about this. 
I'm also getting somebody lied about being in some sort of commitment, lied about being married, lied about having a significant other or something. Somebody lied about wanting to commit to you in general or something. We have food stamp scam or there's some sort of scam involved in this situation and we have snake. Child, I'm just gonna end it right here with this, with the Bertha. Thank you, Bertha. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do they need to know? I didn't need to know. I want, I want to clarify this card. Why do we have this card here? Ooh. Some of you could be questioning your intuition right now. I clarified with the fear. You guys could be second guessing your intuition or what your um, spirit guides, your ancestors and angels are showing you. Okay. Or this is like the type of magic somebody threw at you so that you could question your intuition. Okay. It's something about a whole lot of money or abundance. Or someone's fearful that you're going to be, you're going to, you're going to step in some sort of level of success that um, they know they won't ever be able to like come back in your life or something. Tell me what this karma you. There was a karmic male that you were dealing with at the time and they were very comfortable being um, stuck or still or not wanting to grow, okay, as a person or have dreams or aspirations, something like that. This person has now seen you grow and they're angry about this. So just be aware. You could have like a, a karmic male or female trying to reunite with you and they might be like oh congratulations but really they don't they don't like your growth they don't like the level of success that you have accomplished what is this tell me more ew tell me more there's like someone, whoever this drama creator is or whoever this snake is, whoever was trying to like um, drag your name in the mud, this person like fantasizes about how they can like hurt you. Like this is what this person does. Like it's fucking weird. Mm -hmm. Whoever this snake is though, they're going to come towards you like they love you. Like I was saying, might come in with some sort of apology or want to like make things harmonious, but this person is just out to fucking bite you. Yeah. Someone's in fear because they feel like um, you know about it. I'm also getting, uh, when you're around this person, it makes you feel anxious. It's probably not a good sign. Tell me why. Wait, how does this person feel about my Taurus's spirit? I don't know. I mean, I, don't, I called you guys spirit. Listen, um, Taurus, I've been trying to film this video since Friday. Someone doesn't want this message to come to you, okay? But just to let you know. Woo. Someone could be curious about what you're doing or what you're up to or what your next moves are, or maybe they're curious about if you still love them or how you feel about them, okay? Someone in this situation is witnessing you be very brave and use your, um, your throat chakra. Someone could be very fascinated by you, okay? Um, and you're safe, okay? Or someone's wondering why, if someone was trying to harm you. Somebody's fascinated on how you continue to stay safe or continue to get out of um, situations that they try to put you in so that you can experience some sort of tower moment, okay? Or some sort of trauma or disappointment. Whoever this person is is very angry about this, but your ancestors and angels want to tell you that they're fucking proud of you, okay? I'm also getting if this is a parent that wants to reunite with you and you've disconnected with them, they might want to come in and be like, oh, I'm so proud of you, but truly they're mad at you. They could be jealous of you because you're accomplishing something that they couldn't find the strength to do. That's for some of y'all. Okay, tell me more. 
Tell me more. What, tell me more about these motherfuckers. <laughs> what else do our Tauruses need to know, Spirit? What else do we need to know? We have this person is one of your friends right now. God damn. You guys need to be careful. Tell me more. We have this hater has their spirit team helping them take care of business. Ciao. Tell me more. We have this hater secretly adores you and wants to be close to you. This is someone close to your ass. You're about to see something real clear with clean eyes about somebody's intentions, who they is. Okay. We have you cut them off, but they still spy on you. I feel like whoever is like one of your friends that you're close to now, they're, that whoever you cut off could be using or talking to this person in order to get information off you. So just be aware of that. Um, we have this hater is jealous of your appearance. Okay, so someone hating because you're handsome or you're gorgeous. Okay, tell me more. Too bad, so sad. We have this person actually has feelings for you. So your hater is now your lover or something. We have this hater befriended your your lover to plant lies in their head about you. So someone's trying to sabotage some sort of spiritual union from coming together. Something. Someone, someone's a straight hater. Tell me more. We have this hater made a new social media account to cause drama and spy on you. What the fuck was I saying? Someone was impersonating somebody else. Okay. Or pretending to be someone else. Okay. Online to cause you drama cause you some sort of disruptions distractions whatever the fuck some this, some this is a hateful ass motherfucker tell me more like no one who's like in the song no one who's winning has takes the time out of their day to fucking do negative shit like this we have they mad because you truly don't care <laughs> <laughs> oh shit okay and then we have Ew. You guys could be dealing with a Reiki healer, okay? We have this person sends you healing energy. I'm also getting with that card. It's making me feel like this could be somebody who... Um, this could be someone who, like, feels bad now. They, like, changed their mind about you. So, like, now they feel bad for, like, all the um, negative energy they threw at you. So, like, in order for them... they Like, in my mind, I'm thinking that this person... Is feeling bad for what they like negative energy that they sent out towards you or spoke about you and now they're trying to like retract it like this person is trying to like oh so i don't get karma i'm gonna send them positive energy oh something like that something weird spirit tell me more listen i've met some reiki healers that um not everyone's good i'll just tell you that I'll just tell you that not everyone who's like in any of the spiritual fields not all of them not all of their hearts are clean I feel like that's how I should say it not all of their hearts are clean Holy Spirit Holy Angels can you tell me more Okay, somebody in this situation could be missing their mother, okay? Or somebody's going to be getting their kids back if this is about a court case and a custody battle, okay? I'm all, yeah. I'm also getting someone's going to make a scene. You could tell somebody no and they're going to make a scene, okay? They're going to they're gonna be real dramatic is what I'm getting. This could be a karmic male that comes back to you to ask for forgiveness, to try to get back with you. And if you tell them no, they're going to create a scene. So be aware. Or or a karmic female, whatever word applies. Or a family member, okay? Someone in this situation was like boasting about something they probably shouldn't be proud of is also what I'm getting. Because you see how like this rabbit here looks concerned and this, this pig is looking very uh, proud. I'm also getting like this pig, <laughs> this pig looks like it's saying like, yeah, I stole all that money and I kept it for myself. Like this person's like, uh, you know, you could fucking get charged for that, right? 
And then there's someone in the background that's trying to ignore, be in denial. This could be somebody who witnessed this person do this. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me more, spirit. Damn. Someone's gonna throw a fucking tantrum. There's gonna be some sort of truth or something exposed and someone is gonna throw a fucking tantrum. This is giving me like Karen vibes. Okay. I'm also getting somebody's gonna get hurt. I feel like this person's not gonna expect it. It's gonna come out of nowhere, just like a baseball flies like out of the sky, hits you. Oh, okay, tell me more. Wait, I'm gonna end it. Okay. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What do they need to know? What else do they need to know? What kind of good things can they expect, Spirit, in the next week? What kind of good things can my Tauruses expect in the next week, Spirit? Damn. It says, you need it. You need it go through your current challenges alone. It says help is nearby. Negative thoughts create self-fulfilling prophecies. There's someone coming in that's going to help you with something, okay? Maybe you're having like money issues right now or something. Someone's going to come in and help you with this. Or give you information to like something. We got... There is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. A spiritual quest. Something's got to end. Tell me more. There, there could be something ending in a week for you. Tell me more. But I feel like something good's gonna come out of come out of it. We have nurture yourself. And those you love, the ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. You definitely could be in this energy for like the next week, male or female. Don't matter. Tell me more. Okay, I feel like you're going to get some sort of confidence boost as well. It says, time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively knowing just what to do, okay? So if right now you're feeling like left out, not knowing what you're supposed to do. Maybe you guys could also be feeling like you're not like connecting with the divine or something, or I don't know. Spirit wants you to know that whatever that is, it's gonna go away. I'm also getting, you're gonna, you're gonna know what to do. There's something I feel like there's something on your mind that you could be worried about or anxious about, okay? And you're going to know what to do at the right time when you're supposed to know how to do it. Something like that is significant, okay? Trust in yourself, trust in God, okay? Wow, we got the star. Um, we have a dream come true. Believe in yourself. The end of a difficult situation, like the end of the line. The end of your fucking worries are pretty much over, okay? I could be talking to a star right now. You could be shining fucking brightly. I'm also kind of getting with like these um, water things that she's pouring out. I don't know what they're called. Um, but it's making me feel like you're you're here to um, pour out your wisdom or your healing energy to others. Like you're ready for this. Something like that. Like you need to believe in yourself. Or someone's dream gonna come true in a fucking week, okay? Goddamn, Taurus. Gosh dang. What else do they need to hear, Spirit? What else do they need to hear? And then I gotta wrap this reading up. Should I use this one? Actually, let's find out what this love is real quick.
We have love here. What is this for, Spirit? Because you guys could be meeting, like, um, someone you could, someone you truly are compatible with. Spirit, tell me more. What do you have here? Mm -hmm. You guys could be, whoever this person is, you could be meeting him during, or her, during the holly, holly, holiday seasons. Tell me more. Or spending holiday time together. Tell me more. Maybe you're not supposed to know. Tell me about this love here. Someone's going to come in and try to make the effort with you. Or maybe Spirit's saying you need to make the effort. Yeah, this is new love. Bada bing, bada boom, Taurus. You're about to get new love in your life, okay? It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Make the effort. Maybe you're feeling afraid to like make the effort with this person or to trust this person. We have trust here. It says this situation is calling for you to have faith, okay? In God we trust. There could be a new love that's coming and entering to your life that is being sent by the divine. Like, this is your blessing. I feel like spirits like saying, don't throw it away. Something like that. That's for some of y'all. Not all y'all. Spirit, tell me more. What else do my Tauruses need to know? What do I feel drawn to this? What else do I need to know? What else do I need to know, Spirit? What do my Taurus need to know? We have unconditional love. Whoever's coming in is going to have unconditional love for you, okay? We have, thank you, Divine Mother, for helping me to give and receive the love that I deserve. God's going to send you someone, okay, that's going to love you just as much as you're going to love them. Like, this is beautiful. Tell me more. We have express your creativity. It says, thank you, angels, for helping me express my inner creator. All right. Tell me more. Ooh, damn. Don't play. Tell me more. <laughs> we have balance. Something is coming into balance for you. Justice is on your side. This could be your justice. Is someone who... I hope you guys heard that. <laughs> Your justice could be love, bro. Okay? There's a lot of love out here. It says love and accept yourself. It says thank you, angels, for lovingly guiding me to self-acceptance. Okay? I'm also kind of getting like... This is not for everyone, but some of you could be like... Um, maybe you, you're afraid to come out and say that you're gay or something. You know, it's okay to to accept that and love yourself still. Something like that. That's for some of y'all, not all y'all, okay? Tell me more. Um, Taurus. What else do they need to be aware of in a week? And then I gotta go, okay? What else do they need to be? Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sag. Something about a Saggy. Or you guys have Sag in your chart somewhere. I'm getting like somebody has like Sagittarius in their Venus or something. We have it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. I also feel like someone's going to finally take action towards you or vice versa. We have don't let your past hold you back south node. Okay, so like don't, I feel like what this is saying is like don't let the past hurts or traumas or bullshit that you went through stop you from accepting this love that's trying to enter your life, this new love, okay? Maybe you're afraid to be vulnerable, right? Once again with this Aquarius, the star, show the world the real you, all right? Don't be afraid. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, can you tell me more? What else do they need to know? So I can wrap up this read, Spirit. 
I'm also getting this karmic mill that's from your past. Please don't get back with them just because it's something that's familiar or comfortable. That's another message that I think you need to hear. Tell me more, Spirit. What do they need to hear? What do my courses need to hear? We have, instead of making excuses and telling yourself why you can't do it or why it's not possible, ask yourself, what if it is possible? No more of those excuses, all right, Taurus? Tell me more. I've been making excuses since Friday to film this video, okay? So you ain't alone if you're filming like this. Tell me more. We have let your dreams shift and re reshape. Just like your life shifts and shapes every day, ask yourself every morning, am I shaping my life into the way I want it to be? So there's something that could be in need of change. Okay, Taurus, I know we don't like change. We don't like the C word, okay? But it's very important right now. It's been important this whole year. We have today is the best day to start pursuing your dream. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, or when you retire. Today. It says focus your thoughts and your intentions towards your dreams today. And you are already on your motherfucking way. The time is now. <laughs> The time is now. We have trust the process. It says everything is as it should be, even though it might seem that everything is going wrong. Live life with an open heart. Don't resist, but think each experience that guides you on your way. The road might be bumpy, but don't give up and don't lose faith. Okay, Taurus, I love you. Taurus gang, <laughs> soul family. If you've been feeling alone, listen, always come to my channel. This is where you belong. All right. Tell me more. Just to end it for them. What else do they need to hear? We have unlimited. It says, I create my reality with the thoughts I think and things I focus on. I am unlimited in my ability to create a beautiful life full of good and love. Damn straight you are. Don't you ever forget this, Taurus. Okay? I love you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Okay? Um, it really does help out the channel. Um, if you guys want personal reads, please check my description box below for my email. It's lindalikestarot at gmail.com. Reach out to me. I'm really good at um, reaching back out to you within 24 hours, okay? Um, yes, yes, yes. I do do video calls, so that's how we would meet for a reading. What else? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. Bye. Love you.